joyful learners, and welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad that you are with us, ready to listen and talk about this story. When you hear this sound, pause the video and get ready for talk time. Yesterday we read the story, The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear, written by the authors, Don and Audrey Wood. The illustrator is Don Wood. Before we begin, turn and talk with your partner and tell them something that happened in the story. Let's look back at our organizer and review Little Mouse's emotions and what made him feel that way. First, Little Mouse was happy because he found a red ripe strawberry. Then Little Mouse became scared when he heard about the big hungry bear who loves strawberries. But the Little Mouse was smart. He had different ideas to keep the strawberry from bear. In the end, Little Mouse was happy because he ate the strawberry. Today we will reread some pages of the book and look closely at some words. These words help us better understand the story. At the end, you will use one of the words in a sentence with your talk partner. When I begin, listen for the word ripe. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Oh, how that bear loves red, ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear could smell a red, ripe strawberry a mile away. A ripe strawberry is one that is ready to eat. It is red and juicy. Say the word ripe with me ripe. In this story, the mouse was worried that the smell of the red ripe strawberry would bring the big hungry bear. The bear does love a ripe strawberry. Now listen to how I use the word ripe in this sentence. The bananas are not ripe yet. They are still green. Now it's your turn to answer with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So get your thumbs ready. A peach is ripe when it is soft. Show a thumbs up for, yes, it is ripe. Show a thumbs down for, no, it's not ripe yet. Did you show a thumbs up? A peach is ripe when it is soft. How about this one? Is the green tomato ripe? Show a thumbs up for, yes it is ripe. Show a thumbs down for, no it is not ripe. Did you show a thumbs down? A green tomato is not ripe yet. Our next word is disguise. Listen for the word disguise as I read the next part of the story. No matter where it is hidden, or who is guarding it, or how it is disguised, in the story, the mouse was thinking of ways to keep the strawberry from bear. He thought about disguising it. How did he disguise the strawberry? That's right, he put glasses and a nose on the strawberry. He tried to disguise it. Everyone say the word disguise with me. Disguise. Disguise means to change the look or sound of something. I might say, 
I try to disguise my voice and speak very low. <laughs> or, the mask disguised my face. No one knew who I was. Can you disguise your voice and say your name? Turn and share that with your partner. Disguise your voice. The last word I'd like you to learn more about is the word scared. This word isn't written in the story. So how do we know the mouse was scared? Let's reread this part. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. How do you think Mouse feels and why? Say the word scared with me. Scared. Scared means afraid. I might use the word like this. I'm scared of going into the pool because I can't swim. Or the dog scared me when he growled at me. Are you scared of lightning and thunder? Show me a thumbs up for, yes, I do get scared. Show a thumbs down for, no, I'm not scared of lightning and thunder. Now turn and talk with your partner and share with them, what are you scared of? Now let's go back and review the words we just learned about. Ripe, this means it's ready to eat. Disguise, to change the look or sound of something. And scared, means to be afraid. Now turn and talk with your partner using one of the words in a sentence. Great job, boys and girls. Give your talk partner a high five and say thank you. And have a great day. For the lesson plan and extension activity to this read aloud, click on the link below. Thank you, joyful learners, for joining us as we have read The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear by Dawn and Audrey Wood. The first read of this lesson with this video is also available.